Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat at its usual time again. <laughs> it's funny, the day after Christmas. Oh, by the way, happy Boxing Day. That's the day after Christmas, in case you didn't know it in America. That's an English tradition and other places too. So really, this is the post-Christmas hangover, but also a chance to share some other things. I had some other ideas, but I thought, no, let's, let's go to the topic today, which is... Uh, so this is episode 573, by the way, and the topic today is complaining. It's an excuse to not do anything. Or an excuse not to take action. Uh, there's something like that in the title. Anyway, I want to jump into this because there were some things I heard yesterday and today that I want to talk about. <laughs> so before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, and for the last couple of years I've been doing these talks and daily for most of that time called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. Because I said did say I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, I think. If I didn't, I just did. And so uh, this is episode number 573, and the topic today is complaining. A good excuse to avoid taking action. I'm reframing the title as I say it. And this is becoming up a lot recently because I've seen people complaining about certain things that are really frustrating to hear them again and again. And this is the, I'll use, this, an in, use this, this for instance first. And you probably know somebody like this. It's not you, but somebody you know, I'm sure. Where you know somebody who has complained about something that hasn't changed or hasn't worked repeatedly to you over the last week, month, year, lifetime. And you wish they would change their story. <laughs> so I'm not saying you should give this in this video because that would be a provocative thing to do. But I'm speaking to this point from the point of view of if we are in that boat ourselves, if we are somebody who, if you notice, like I've noticed before, where I started complaining about something and then went, oh, hang on a second. I'm making an excuse not to do something. And then you can make a difference and you can change. But this is the thing, it takes awareness to get to this point. But the reason I'm saying this is because on a national level, yes, on a national level, there's been a lot of complaining going on, going on about the political system, about political structure. And having watched the movie Vice last night, if you haven't watched it, I, I recommend it and warn you, it's not a pretty story and it can be very disheartening. At the same time, it can also be very... Um, It may, it may be a call to action, maybe we're putting it. But anyway, so in that story and, and what I, what I've been aware of in the culture we live in, there's a lot of people who are complaining about things aren't working the way they want. They're complaining about situations that are not... Um, let's see, it's a nice way. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me change the, the perspective on that for a second. Let's bring it to the relationship arena. If you're single... And complaining there's no good men out there, ladies, or no good women out there for the gents, or if you're straight, um, that's a complaint. And if you're complaining, um, and say this way, if you're complaining about what you don't have, you ain't going to get it. Complaining is not, it, I can guarantee you, that complaint is, one of the, complaint is one of the best reasons, or the best methods, to avoid getting what you want. I think that makes sense. And in relationship conversations, complaining when you're single that you don't have what you want doesn't bring it to you. And complaining there's not enough, there's no good men out there. Again, speak, let's speak to the ladies. It's easy to do one example and keep back and forward. Ladies, let me talk to you about this. If you're complaining that there's no good men out there, then you're going to create a reality where there's no good men out there. Complaining is very effective at blocking what you want. And to bring in the spiritual piece for a second, the law of attraction doesn't just work when you affirm what you want. It also works when you complain about what you don't want. So just be careful what you say because you're creating your own reality. Okay, let's put that on the side for a second. I don't want to get too woo-woo with you. But too woo-woo with you, that sounded a bit weird. But I want to give you this point. So complaining about what you don't want doesn't get you results. That's a fact of life. And I'm sure if you're like me, you've experienced that more than once where you know that you didn't get what you wanted because you complained about it. In fact, the only way to get what you want is to do proactive action steps and proactive statements and proactive thinking about where you want to go so you can actually affirm where it's going, where it can happen. For me, I've had that paradigm awareness for quite a while and I still forget about it at times. It's tempting sometimes to wallow in self, I don't say self-disgust, but self, um, 
injury. <laughs> I'm careful I say this because I don't want to make it sound too heinous, but the reality is complaining is not working well. Because complaining is also a judgment, a judgment path. And I've talked about judgment before as a means to hurt yourself and wound yourself where, where forgiveness is, the, is the, um, the balm to cure or heal judgment. Complaining is another level of that. Because a lot of us like to think that we can be feeling better about ourselves when we complain about something else. If you complain about the homeless situation or you complain about um, not having a favorite dish on the menu of the restaurant you go to. I mean, there's so many ways people complain. And again, not you, but somebody you know. And it's a trap we fall into. And again, taking back to the relationship arena for a second. If you're in a relationship and you complain about your partner to somebody else, you've really got something to work on. Because the thing is, if you do that, um, how do I say this politely? Maybe you don't deserve them. Yes, I'm going to say that bluntly. If you complain about your partner to somebody else and you're not willing to have a conversation with your partner, you're not willing to have a conversation with your partner about what's troubling you, and you're not willing to take responsibility for your participation in that issue in the first place, you may not be worthy of that relationship. If you are really clear that it's not going to work with that partner and you spend the time complaining about them and you don't actually leave, that's your fault meaning that your option is to leave. If you're not choosing that path, you're stuck in this place of just remaining where you don't want to be, not taking action to leave, and just complaining about it. Do you get how um, self-victimizing that is? Because it is. It's not healthy. Complaining about what you don't want is a way of guaranteeing you don't get what you want. That's another, th reason, another thing I was going to say. And the thing about complaining is it doesn't require any action, which for some people is the reason why they complain because they don't want to take any action. Now, for some people, it's a fear of taking the wrong action. But here's a little clue. If you're complaining instead of being, <coughs> excuse me, if you're complaining rather, being, rather than taking action because you're afraid of it, you're gonna make a bigger mistake than if you take an action that's wrong. Let me say that one again. Because <coughs> this will be a big, big wake up call for some people. If you'd rather complain than actually take an action that might be a wrong one because you're afraid of making the wrong action, you're actually worse off if you do the complaining instead. Hey, Adriana, nice to see you in my talk. Well, let me see. Oh, by the way, this is Facebook Live first, in case you're wondering. So I'm reading someone's comment in my Facebook Live, and I'll share what she said. Like, Adriana, you said, we always have a choice in relationships, staying or leaving, or doing something about the situation. Exactly. But a lot of people, and I've dealt with some of these in my, as my clients, and I had to coach them on this, would rather complain about their relationship than leave it. Or complain about the relationship or change it. And let me just say this. If you are willing to work with me, neither one of those is going to work. You have to do some work about it. And that's why some people are scared to work with me. I know because they're not willing to make the change. And frankly, better off they don't. <laughs> I make it clear. When I work with people, the people who work with me have to be willing to make some changes in their lives. And also have to be willing to give up the complaining path because it doesn't work. It really doesn't work. And complaining is an excuse. And for some people, they may have a whole list of excuses that are out there. And complaining is one of the ones they use. Or I should say, list of um, forms of denial out there, which one of, complaining is one of them. So I want to make this point very clear. Complaining is optional. You don't have to complain about everything that happens. You may have been trained that way. You can break the cycle. And one of the ways to stop complaining is to get help with somebody who knows how to help you stop that. I think that makes sense. Because the path to out getting out of complaining is to stop complaining. That's as simple as that. And if you can't stop on your own, get someone to help you. I have some skills in that area. But the thing about complaining is it does not get you what you want. All it, makes you, all it can give you, if anything, is a sense, temporary as it is, a sense of self-satisfaction because you feel better because you bitched about something. That isn't cool. It's not effective. It's actually a limiting way of living your life. So I'll make the point very clear again, once and for all. Stop complaining. It doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> I think you get my point. So if you're single looking for a relationship and you're complaining about the lack of relationship choices out there, you ain't going to find what you want. If you're in a relationship and you complain about your partner or somebody else, as an example, you're not going to change the relationship. As you can tell, complaining is in action. As in no action, not in space action, I'm one word, in action. Complaining is a lack of action. And if you're too lazy to take a step, then you don't deserve to get where you wanna go. And I'm being blunt about that. 
I just want to say this in another way that's maybe a little subtler, maybe more polite, is complaining maybe something you've been trained in by your parents. Maybe it's maybe something you got trained by your ex. But complaining is a habit you can change. You're not stuck with complaining the rest of your life. And if you want to change it, I have some ways of helping you change that pattern once and for all. Because complaining is a, it's a downward spiral, basically. There are people I know who are in their 70s, 80s, and 90s who would rather complain than be happy. And the truth is, happiness is that close when you stop complaining. But it's always a choice. And so I want to make sure I get this point because, frankly, for many people, complaining is something they're defaulting to because they don't know better. So I'd love to help you know better so you can choose happiness, success, love, all the things you want versus complaining because complaining doesn't help anybody. Thank you for that, Patricia. Nice to see you in my broadcast. And I want to make sure that you hear this. You deserve it. You deserve better than you've had. You deserve more love, more choice, more gifts, more support, more success, more love, more relationship. Fulfillment. I had to get the second part of the word in there. And you could be willing to ask for that and get the help. Because, complain as again, complaining to get you none of that. It absolutely is a faulty programming that you believe that complaining gets you anywhere. It doesn't. That's why I put the title in the complaining is a path to not taking action. And I believe in life we must take action towards our goals. We must take action towards our in uh, our uh, intentions. We must be able to take action actions to take care of ourselves. I think I made my point clear enough. A couple of quick things. So again, happy Boxing Day for those of you watching from other countries who know what, what Boxing Day is. In America they don't, generally speaking. Um, this is the last week of the year. And I've been hosting some, I've been offering some holiday specials, mostly for the month of December to my audience, with some special prices on my coaching and my online programs. Um, I put a link, couple of links in the comments so you can check them out because I'm taking those away very shortly. Because the New Year's starting basically a week from now, um, actually a week from yesterday. And I've got some things I'm launching in the new year that I think will be very exciting. However, I'm making some special deals now that can get you in on some um, support that you can get from much, basically a holiday special, that simple. I also put a link in there for my self-love practice because frankly, if you've been worried about, if you're still complaining, a little self-love will go a long way to help you change the habit. So I'll put that in there as well. And I'll also put in the link in the comments for my discovery session because frankly, if you want someone to talk to, if you're watching my broadcast, I might be that person. <laughs> so thank you for watching. This is my Facebook Live, by the way. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, especially when it's not a holiday like it was the last few days. And this is a reminder that complaining doesn't work. Thank you, Adriana. I'm glad you liked my video. Thanks for being in there, for watching and taking notes. And please share it with anybody you think should see this. This is Facebook Live first. It goes on to YouTube and then to my podcast. I'll give you the links for those as well. Um, homework. I'll give you that first. Yes, I do give homework. <laughs> And even though it's a holiday, it is Boxing Day, the homework is this. Watch, actually, you know what? Here's the way to do it. At the end of the day today, if you're watching this early in the day, if you're doing by the world, or if you're watching this late in the day because it's somewhere else in the world, that kind of makes sense, review your day. And notice any time that you've made a complaint about something. Maybe you complain to somebody, or maybe you complain about somebody or something. If that's happening too much of the time, maybe you want to do some course correction. Hey, 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 Martin. Yes, thank you. I like to keep my... Like, I think, yes. <laughs> just what you said. You just popped in, popped on. Nice shirt. Thank you, for the, thank you for the compliment. Happy New Year. Well, that's not another week or so, but yes, thank you for that. And homework. Yes, homework. Yikes. My homework is to remind people to take a look at their day in the past, in the review mirror, so to speak, and look at, see where you, perhaps you have complained more than you should have done. Excuse me. Complained more than you wanted to. Let me rephrase that. And with that, you can perhaps see things differently. Um, and if you're finding that's becoming too much of a habit, especially reach out to me and I'll put the link in the comments for, the, for, the, for my consult. So I totally put the links in the comments. Oh yes, replays. Facebook Live first on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. All the replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. I also put them onto my YouTube channel, so you may be watching it there, which is why I had to repeat the comments so you can see them, because you won't see them on YouTube. But you can also respond, though, in the comments. And if you have questions, comments about the broadcast, please do that below in the broadcast. Um, we'll respond after I sign off. Um, on YouTube, it's uh, the channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. 
and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. That's also the name of the podcast on iTunes, Messages from the Masculine, which you can also subscribe to. And uh, you can watch the, my Facebook lives, so watch my replays on YouTube or listen to them on my podcast. And uh, I think that's about it. And uh, you've got your homework, you've got your choices. You can quit complaining if you want to. It's a choice. And with that, I will see you again tomorrow. Again, I'll put the links in the comments, check them out after I sign off. And uh, I invite you to take care of yourselves better than you've done before. This is the end of the year. What do you want to wrap up? What do you want to release? What do you want to transform before you go into the new year? Because that'll be something I'll talk about in the next few days. Adriana, what would you say then? Let me see your comment. One of your daily practices is to review your day and to be grateful for all the blessings I received that day. Absolutely a smart plan. Nice choice, Adriana. Yeah, I recommend it to my clients too. And a big hug to you too. I look forward to seeing you again sometime before or after the new year. And happy new year to you too. Well, happy new year's going on. It's only the 26th of December. We've got a few more days yet. Um, but thank you. And I love, and love you to you too. So again, please share this out with anybody who thinks you should watch this. And a recommendation is you do take care of yourself consciously, intentionally. So notice what you say. And notice what you think. Because if you notice things, you can change things. Because awareness is the first step. So, ah, Martin, you like the homework. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I do a lot of that in my homework, is to offer things you actually might enjoy doing. It's not like, oh my God, homework, don't want to do it. It's ideas of things that you can actually help you. So, I'm glad you like it. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will be back in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Should be 5 p.m. Pacific time. I'm just checking my schedule. I think in the next few days I'm actually on normal track again after the holidays. And uh, any questions, comments, please put them below. And I'll put the links in the comments. You can reach out to me if you want some support. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Oh, even even the yucks was a little complaint for me. Oh, yes. Yeah, very good catch, Martin. Yes, even the yucks was a little complaint for me. Yes. That's the thing. We don't know to do that stuff where we react that quickly. Hmm. Okay, a little PS. <laughs> you inspired me there, Martin. Martin. Sometimes our, our expressive sounds are actually a form of complaint. So in your remembrance of the day that came before, Notice where you were just exasperated or distressed or harumphed or you had a deep sigh or something that may be your complaint method because frankly, if you are using those methodologies, you're just lowering the visibility of your complaints, you're still doing the same thing. So what I said before still applies. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. That'll be number 574. And I invite you to take care of yourself tonight and have a wonderful evening. See you again tomorrow. Bye.